Welcome folks. We are going to learn about longitude, latitude. This is from four mathematics. Okay. And mostly you can get it paper two. It can cost you ten marks. Pay attention. So this is the basic. Second lesson I will now do calculation. This is just to jog your mind. Basics. Those basics are very important. They are the tools that you need. So tool number one that you need to know is that what you did in primary circumference. Circumference is equal to pi d or 2 pi r. Circumference. That knowledge will be required when you are doing time, longitude, light, uh, longitude difference vis-a-vis -vis time. It will be very easy because you know one rotation is 24 hours. It will have gone through 360. So it will help you to know that when I have longitude difference this much, this time has elapsed. So that you are able to handle times, the different times, when you are told this town is on the east, it is at noon, what is the time, 45 degrees, a town on the west? Basics. Basic circumference, pi d or 2 pi r. Arc length. Arc length is the angle subtended at the center of that circle. It doesn't matter whether it is a big circle, is a small circle. Arc length is defined by the angle subtended at that center. So the angle subtended at that particular center over 360 times 2 pi r, where r, the r I've shown, is the r of that particular circle. So two things basic. Angle subtended at the center radius of that particular circle we are talking about. Longitudes. These are all circles basically with capital radius R. You will be dealing with only two radii. Two radii. Only two. Big and small. So you can't get confused when you have only two options. Suppose we give you ten. Suppose you go to Washington you want to go to university and the, the streets look the same and it's at night. You will go around the airport. So you must open your mind. All circles with the radius R, capital R. Then other circles have radius capital small R. I mean small R. You have capital R, small R. Those are the only options you have. How do you know? Longitudes are all longitudes from geography perspective, running north, south, and equator. Anything running north, south is a longitude plus equator. Then latitudes are all circles with small radius r. Basically, they are latitudes. How do you know? This one is very simple. You will be told 30 degrees north. Or this circle is 70 degrees south. So whatever angle is attached to either north or south tells you it is a small circle. Latitude. There. So the latitudes are characterized by alpha north. See, there is this. You will be told this angle north or this angle. So anything attached to south or north basically tells you is a latitude. I want now to focus here, down here a bit. Focus, if we may focus down there on the diagram. Note, you see, 30 degrees north. That means from the level of the equator, we measured 30 to get to that point. So our point is here. So there is a latitude here. 
there's a latitude, but I've only extracted its radius, small r. But this, from here up to here, this is the center of the earth. Any length from the center of the earth to circumference is radius. So this is capital R. Now, what do you have now here? I have something like this. I know you can see. I have something like that. There. Then I have that to the center. There. This is angle alpha. From the center of the earth to any point on the circumference is radius. So how do I get small r? It is just r cos alpha. You get that. This is 90. I've extracted here. So where there is small r, if you are given the small r, you use it. But if you are not given, and you are only given capital R, this is the relationship. Okay? That's the relationship. So we are going to look at how to get arc length in two ways. There is kilometer and there is nautical miles. Till then, bye-bye.